Hey, who's ready for more Slay the Spire? I am! And also, hopefully you are too, because otherwise I'm not too sure quite why you're watching it. So, <clears throat> something that I've decided I'm going to do with these things is have effectively a bunch of, like, the standard things are going to go up like they have been so far, of it being I do, like, an act per episode with it. But I'm also going to have a daily climb that will go up as a whole run every day with it. And I have, like, the conditions of that run with it. And this is what we're going to have go on right now. Now, <laughs> the thing that's going to be really confusing about this here is that this daily climb here is going to be coming out on the same day as the very first episode of Slay the Spy. Now, just to understand how much I've been playing this game and recording it, this, if this were a normal episode, this would be the 13th one. So, basically it's going to be 12 episodes before the standard uploads catch up to this daily climb. But that's because I'm going to be able to effectively kind of finish the standard uploads while I'm not going to be able to finish a day, like, daily climbs because they'll be, keep coming out every single day. So, let's do our daily climb for this day. Got the silent, start with five colorless cards. Whenever I defeat a boss, become cursed. My stone relic is replaced with cursed key, dark stone, prayer, path, and duvidol. The learning is drop relics instead of cards. Whoo! That sounds fun. Let's go. Achievements off the daily climb? That's fun. That's actually kind of good because that's what I was actually hoping for a little of is that I've got this kind of separate to my main thing. If I can curse against my max health by six. Each curse of my deck starts to come with additional strength. I have no curses. I, I love this actually. I'm gonna have so many curses and they're gonna be kind of helping me out in a way, but also, so I'm gonna want to cycle a lot. That's gonna be a thing. Time for a challenge. Rewards. Okay, so these are the ones I'm just getting to start out. We just got some answers. One this turn. Okay. Reduce some. Ho hopefully that won't increase anything. Uh, Alright, not bad. Lots of cycling. We've got a good amount of strong cycling from that, so granted. Alright, so let's see. How do we want to start this? That's gonna lock me in a very steamy path here. This will get me out of that a little, a little bit of options, and it's probably better that I take this route overall. Um, let's see, I've actually, so one, two, three, four question marks that way. This one has four question marks as well, but it also has a fireplace in there. This one also has a fireplace, so no, it's two actually. Let's take this path then. This seems the best. Do I've gone a lead encounter, which I don't think I have in the other one, but fine by me. Okay, so right at the gate, let us use Master Strategy. Cool, we can neutralize to make that attack do less. Block twice, and slam him down with some damage. Uh, don't need to use Enlightenment, because everything already cost one. Gosh, this is gonna be so cool. I, I, I already loved it. Like, when I say this is gonna be so cool, this is so cool. I absolutely love how this run, how this, this is like my first thing and already it's like, hey, let's turn curses, a typically terrible thing, into amazing, crazy, I love this cards. All right. Oh, and I could use Survivor to drop a curse from, I wanna go, I'm gonna go for a discard silence so I can try and remove the curses. Wait, no, discard isn't actually going to exhaust the curses, is it? That's the issue. Mm. So, with enough discard, like, I can afford to do the discards because of the fact I've got the silent. That's, I think, one of the things this. And if I play a debuff to an enemy... Ah, uh, sure, why not? That's not, like, anything remotely bad. Um... I can... I don't even need to discard on Lyman to hit the amount I need to defend, so I may as well... How do I keep forgetting to do not put Discord on Do Not Disturb for these? 
sorry about that for anyone who's like went to check their Discord. I I don't know what's wrong with me like that. I said, is it buy one or two? One? Yeah, it's two ones. So none of my cards so far are actually going to be impacted by that. All right. Uh, this will hurt him a bit more because he gets that. But there's not really anything else I can actually do with this hand. I'm gonna get- I get a relic from this guy, don't I, because of this. I'm gonna just drop relics instead of cards. Oh, it's gonna be hard for me to generate cards then. It's gonna be so easy for me to generate relics, oh my god. Morton Egg? <laughs> Off to an amazing start. I should actually go for more enemy encounters, really. Um, hey, I can already get a curse! No downside to this now. This will be worth it. I get a bunch of money and I get to be cursed. Let's take that health and boost. So just one additional strength, which overall, don't know about that for being good. I might want to remove my curses from the deck in that regard, but still, that's pretty decent because I can just open up like this with a stabby stab dead. Uh, and we'll just stab you. May as well, because I'm not being attacked or anything. They're licking me. I like the fact I've got four energy to play with here too. Uh, let's see. Ooh, nice. Nice, so I can get behind having that. But let's see what I can throw in here first. I can throw some strikes out. What have we got? Apply two weak at the start of the turn. Ooh, that's a nice power, actually. Unfortunately, I can't particularly make use of that. I'm liking the, the, a lot of these colorless cards are actually better than I gave them credit for, in all honesty. Then with my turn, I'll gain one week. Well then, I guess we make sure I don't end my turn. <laughs> What's that? Whenever I rest, I add a card to my deck. Excellent. Though I might want to smith upgrade some of my colorless. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's spin this wheel. See what we get. If we get a curse, it's not bad even. Eh. Go. It's treasure! Does this mean a relic or a card? Uh, it's a relic! Ooh! Incense burner! Excellent! That's a very nice card. Uh, relic. What's this on? Functioning mass of light encompassing the center of Swarm Glow and Enchanted Pants invite you in. Well, I'm I'm going to want to do a rest, so let's upgrade two random cards. Draw four cards, gain eleven. Sweet! I've done this before a bit, so now let's do a rest here in order to recover some health and up and uh, not upgrade, discover a card. Draw three, discard one, apply 99 vulnerable and exhaust. That's, I love how excessive that amount of vulnerable is. Oh gosh. This is a huge cycle, and since we can just discard a curse, awesome. It's a bit like, I'm actually willing to have some exhaust cards now because I can use those to remove curses in my deck. Um, Alright, so, let's draw three. Uh, throw down that neutralize onto you. Slam some strikes into your face and defend against the attack. No point playing bandage if I haven't got anything to heal. Uh, I'm gonna have these dazed things, but fortunately, I can just do it. Oh, there's no point. I shouldn't discard them actually, because that means that they'll stay in the deck. Which would suck, actually. Um, they're gonna do a lot of attacks on me here. So, I can afford to drop one of the blocks, though, that's the thing. So, let's start with an acrobatics here. We'll drop doubt. Take survivor, discard enlightenment for that. Do this, and slam him for seven. No damage this turn. And we manage to avoid taking weak. I don't like the amount of debuffs I've got in here. I could probably go without doing master strategy this turn, we'll see. Every time I play five cards in a single turn, do 10 damage to all enemies. Okay. Looks like I, uh... I know how this has got to go now, because I've got to do this to get that five cards in a single turn thing. Um, 
So to that here, and draw three, discard one, we'll make that be the discard, dead, perfect. We drop two days, cool. that, mm, that was a crisp turn. I'm really, like these colorless cards, I massively over underestimated them, I should say, that they have got a lot of power that I just completely didn't, like, I, 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 I underestimated them. They, a lot better than I gave them credit for. I found out how the intangible on that turn. Of course. Because <laughs> I have lost most of my draw right now. Now I get intangible. Oh, yay, lovely. I get to not be able to really do anything through all this dazed crap. Oh, gosh. Three damage. Perfect. Um, we're going to do an acrobatics here. Discard that doubt. Ping him with three strikes. Quite happy. Unless I fail to draw any damage, like I just did, whatever though, I'll just do this, that's a turn. It, it was fine, it wasn't a handful of days, because all I need to do is draw single damage, yep, this does it, and I kill it. Yep, cool. What's my reward? Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Excellent, I like that. Power potion is nice. Adding a card to my deck, huh? That was not a no oh, those were elites, weren't they, actually? Yeah. Holy shit, nice. Um, let's take a cycle card. And for, I don't, I don't feel like I particularly need to rest when I could do an upgrade, so it's this. Reduce the cost of cards, so it's... Wait, what? To one this combat. Ooh, that's interesting, but I don't think I really have that many that really utilize that. If that, that would be good if it removed exhaust. Since it doesn't, it's not particularly good for it. To four apply too weak. I think two colors is actually kind of really good, I'm realizing now. Um, so I might go for this. Because I feel like I don't particularly need to rest at the moment. So what's my chest got? It's got a curse for me. Unplayable and ethereal? That's fine, that's that's all cool by me. Every time I play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. That's... Oh my gosh, three attacks, three skills. Every time I play three of a single card, I'm gonna deal damage to people. Sounds good to me. I got two strength from being cursed like this. Uh, let's try out a master strategy to see what we can pull. So that's just gonna not even be a downside to that. Um, I kind of want to draw more to see if I can go into. Hmm. I thought. Oh no, that was the master. Of... Yeah. Okay. All right then. Um. Let's just do a survivor to discard the doubt in my hand. Purely for that aspect of it. Now, I did three attacks in a turn, so I gained a full block, yep. Cool. Oh, I should have done bandage! Duh! I've taken damage! Ugh, I'm so dumb. Sorry guys, that was that was all me messing up. What have you got here? Uh, muscle strategy. Quick slash. Eh, it's a strike. I, I, I could have recovered full health that game, and I just didn't. That was dumb of me. Stage combo with one strength. Nice. Gambler's Brew. Cool. So I can just use that at any point to discard a bunch of curses. Merchant, what have you got for me? If I do not play any attack this turn, uh, the random colors man, that could be cool. Conditional 15 health each time I rest. Um, no, I think I'll do a toolbox. A toolbox seems pretty good to me here. Um, this whole stab plus seems neat. Um, 
Is it a two cost? I don't know. That I'll, I'll I'll leave it at that for now. Um, let's avoid fighting the elite boy because I am scared of him. Hey, that's good. Hi, boys. I guess the fact this heals is actually a decent enough reason to upgrade it. But, uh, yeah, um, I can't kill. I can only kill that one with it, so. Yeah, I probably should have looked at upgrading my bandage. You're getting nasty. I should be able to take you down after. Yeah, I should be able to kill both of you, actually. Pretty easy, all things considered. Uh, HP is full, getting out of stuff. Yeah, oh, god damn it. That's just tempting me about the fact that I could have, I could have gotten that effect. Oh, hey, excellent though. Got this. Got this thing's purity. Choosing all sorts of free cards in my hand. Okay. Um, Stone Master strategy. Oh, enter dramatically. We will show. We'll natural neutralize him, I mean. We'll do good instincts here. We'll strike him with an attack like that. Skills, so let's just go and do some skills here for that as well. We're interrupting him on the very first turn. <laughs> That's good. Um I feel like throwing out a poison is the better choice here. Just because, purely because of the fact that, um, I, that was a term, let's just got doubt from that. Purely because I want to make sure I've got room for a potion and I feel like you, when you can utilize a potion it's better than when you can't. I don't know. I did get one bad color that I feel to reduce everything to one. No, it, like it's good, but not for this character I feel. This character prefers other ones. Right. Strike. Strike. Then we'll just do this. This guy wanted that, and then turn. Because that removes. Crippled is a very minor curse, which is. I consider it probably one of the best curses because of just how minor it is. It's like there, and then it's gone. Bam, no issue. Is it. Okay, each combat. Happy flower. Every three turns? Yeah, okay. Yo, plants versus zombie sunflower. Um, I kind of want to go for a fight because of the fact that it gives me the opportunity for another relic. It's kind of better than getting a chest, so yeah, let's go into another battle. Let's kill as many things as possible. Uh, we'll do this. Sweet, swift strike, easy, nice, like it. Gain two block and draw. Um, do this. I can't kill off that, so let's add a bunch of colors to my hand. Ooh, that's nice. I could use purity to exhaust uh, my other thing when I get them both. And uh, let's make sure I don't take damage from this turn. Cool. Uh, sweet, quick slash, neutralize, so we can pull from this, a strike, and that's death. What have we got for relic? Geria. Excellent. We'll, uh, yo, let's lift, boys. <laughs> Get even stronger. Because why not? We need more relics, guys. We just can't have enough of them. Right, purity in our opening. Not terrible as such. Though I don't like this opening hand. It's just kind of that, and that's it. Which is really, really not good. Oh, I could use my uh, purify to deal with. Uh, my hand having some of that stuff in it. Okay, cool, so I can do a 
So, so let's throw in a strike here. There we go, acrobatics. On that doubt, to remove that. Uh, neutralize for free, jack of all trades for free again. So let's tap my, for, for my draw pile on that to my hand. Okay, uh... Okay. With that. Let's throw this on. What if I do a draw? No, I don't really need to go and draw more right now. I've got a decent enough hand on it, so I'll leave that. Have Clumsy Dissipate. It's preparing, but we can stop that with uh, just a bit of damage. Mm. Good, I'm glad I drew Acrobatics. Oh, come on. What is this shit? Well, I can at least go and damage him via this. That's annoying. Okay, so... This is infuriating right here. God damn. Because we can't even avoid taking all this damage. We can exhaust these two, I guess. But damn, this is infuriating. Freaking, uh. All right, all right, it's okay though. We can do this. If I smack that thing hard enough, they uh won't matter because it will just go and be yeah. It's, it's now bad. Look at that. It's going to become two little shitty things, which I'm okay with. I'm intangible this turn, which is great. Though, what is not so great is uh, the fact that I just can't really do much. I can kill one of them, thanks to my little skill, but uh, yeah. I figured it would be better to not take damage and prevent their little annoying move. Cool, let's use the finesse here, just to cycle. Acrobatics for a draw. Drop Survivor from this hand, because we don't really need it. Exhaust that from the deck. Do that for a kill on the slime, and then start slamming at you. Not enough for neutral, but that's fine. We don't really need to interrupt the lick. Move that. Play out these. And this. Uh, we're not enough. We don't have enough for that, so we may as well not play that. Okay. We, we've got this in the bag here. Look at that. Quick slash. Bam. Natu neutralize and that gone. Easy. Gremlin horn. I mean, enemy dies. Getting that sweet. Skill potion. Good. Add card. This card damage is lower by two this combat. Okay. Hmm. Alchemize, though. Alchemize is good. Get myself more potions. What's in the chest? Gain that at the start of each turn. Can't play more than six cards per turn. That seems counterintuitive to its own effect. Can't gain gold, I know that one. Transform all strikes and defends. Can run a card of any rarity. I kind of want to go for that. That's just, yeah, Pandora's box. Let's open it, because that just sounds fun. She is still free additional damage. <laughs> oh my god. What is my deck going to be now? Weird and wacky, and I love it. Should you discard card this turn? Yes, because one of the things I've been interested in doing was to discard the silent. But uh, this kind of gives me a little way to do that a bit too, because I just have... I have no way to actually naturally defend myself now. That was a really dumb move I made. <laughs> Oops. Um... Let's become the most relicful person in the world. 
by taking this path. Okay, cool. Um, next time gain that, yep. Do backstab on that boy. Throw this into it. Throw that onto him. I should have done my enlightenment, that was dumb of me, whatever. Um... Let's do enlightenment now. Because I feel very stupid with that. Um... Let's add a random skill card to our hand, why not? If I would if the card to from my hand, draw one card. Okay. Apply three weak. Nope. Alright. I'm gonna take a bit of damage from that. It's fine, this thing is dying horrifically. I'm gonna just start my next turn, yep. And let's just Chicken, why not? Murder. Yep. Oh, I could get an attack potion. Um, let's drop that. Let's drop Gambler's Brew for that. Next enemy. God. So many relics. This is. This is not a challenge climb. This is just a fun climb. Let's go and drink a. Let's. Drink my random attack card, because I want to just murder this boy hard. Mind Blast, and then we in my draw pile. Gone. I think this is just death, yeah. <laughs> Upon pickup upgrade, two random attacks. Cool. Naturalized but upgraded, neutralized but upgraded, and I think that was literally the only attack card I had. <laughs> Lovely. The only attack I had unupgraded. Ooh. Draw two cards, place a card from my from my hand on top of my draw pile. Interesting. Let's add a power to my mix. And I'm attack to free damage to the attacker. Sure, why not? Uh you get to suffer a bit. Let's do this. We'll draw two cards here. Um, let's put that, because I don't really have any shiv cards, actually, I noticed. Oh, we can apply some vulnerable into the mix here. Let's kill that one. If it does, draw two more cards next turn. What did I just, what made me just draw? I have so many relics and stuff, I don't know what made me just draw then. Well, whatever. Whatever we, we, we drew. Uh, let's do this. Let's throw out a heal. Um, we'll do a transmutation here. What have we got? Time to play five cards. Excellent power there. Excellent this here. Let's do a this. And end. I don't, but I'm here anyway. Oh boy, here comes a lot of uh, a lot of things coming out. First of all, um, let's just throw a quick slash onto you. Um, we're doing enlightenment here. Uh, I can probably afford to just go after you for this. Then we'll play out that. Um, throw a flying knee your way, and you're dead. <laughs> that went well. Gain 30 gold, you are 10 times more likely to find treasure in those rooms. Okay, 30 gold is nice. Because <laughs> we're not really going after question mark rooms anymore. Because we just have so many relics that we don't even know what we're doing with ourselves. Oh my gosh, Jack of all trades. Okay, we've got that. That's fine though. Uh, slam you with this. Draw a card from that. Well, we're not going to be able to play Masterful Stab, are we, because of that? But uh, then let's draw four. Why not uh, do alignment so that these all cost one? Hit you like this. Uh, have I discarded a card this turn? I don't think I have. 
So let's try and get to that. Okay, I know how we can discard a card this turn. Let's drink that and drop this. So that we can then add in a random potion into that. Let's go for this. Oh, nice. We'll do that to kill you. Do this so we gain back our mana. Hit you with this. Um, we will do an acrobatics to draw onto. Uh, yeah, let's drop survivor from this. We'll do a bouncing flask. Not exactly who I wanted to hit with that, but whatever. He dies on the first turn. I mean, you're basically already dead. I have way too much. This is just not fair. Oh, you are. Yeah, you're gone. And let's give me another relic here. I've got two random skills. Excellent. <laughs> oh, poor enemy all alone. This is actually probably a pretty good one to stop me. Um. That being said, it's still not that good to- uh, it's still not- it's probably still not actually gonna stop me from anything. Let's see how much it can do against me. Um, we'll add a random power to my hand. All eight plans, okay, sure. Just alchemize. Sweet. Um, and then we'll go and just freaking hit you with this. You're dead. <laughs> Uh, every time I lose HP, first time I do, there is draw three cards. Alright. Let's lift. Get more strength. Because, you know, that's what we need more of. Mm. More combat. Oh, are you even going to get a first turn is the question. Please turn that around and colors to my hand. Actually, might because of the fact that I didn't get much to work with here. Yeah, it is. It's gonna get its first turn, and that's gonna make my life bad. Because now it's got that. Mm. Unhappiness. Wait, does some alignment still work with that? I hope so. Let's do Jack of All Trades first here. Okay, uh, drop everything to one. Yep, cool, excellent. I turn and call this, stuff my disc going to my draw pile. Upgrade the rest, sweet. That's very nice. Let's go for that if we can pull, okay. Mm. Let's go for that then. So we upgrade everything. Because I feel that might actually be very necessary here. Given the effects of the fight. Okay, uh, first things first, let's go and do an enlightenment, then we'll add a power, force the trade at summer turn, draw one, a card, discard one, sure, add a potion back, let's do predator on you, acrobatics, discard doubt from that, uh, blur, Quick slash and mm, skewer. I'm for, I was, I was kind of hoping that I'd somehow manage to come all the way around over to uh. Let's discard that so we can have random skewer. I was hoping we, we could somehow come all, all the way around to my cycled uh. uh what's it called? My, my. Ah, what was it? The bandages. The upgraded bandages I'd cycled because they were just. I uh, don't know. Oh, normality, that's not happy. Again, we kind of... Combats, that's... Mm, I, I want regular combat, though. Hmm. I guess I've got a good chance of getting treasure from here. Do I want to get jaxed? No, I feel I've got enough strength here. Go away, jaxed person. Under darkness, I could buy potions, but I already have every potion I could need. I make my own potions. Right. Oh, freaking. 
First of all, I have to discard this to stop that getting in the way. I will backstab you. Enlightenment, so I can punch you there. Then do that, and remove clumsy. That works. That was a nice kind of little turn there where I killed one of the enemies immediately. Because this amount of relics is not excessive at all. Mm, let's see what we get. Uh, Doppelgang eats turn draw. Next turn draw X cards and gain X. Okay. Let's do that. We will bandage ourselves up a bit. Do this. Oh, I could just kill someone with my skewer. I don't think I've discarded this turn. I have, apparently, I guess. Whatever, he dies. My powers were matched, uh, more like completely and utterly overwhelmed. Never skill is added to my deck, so whenever anything gets added to my deck, it's immediately upgraded. Which is great. Um, okay, let's open up a backstab, because why not? Draw three cards, yep. Um... Or three, discard one, namely this one. And we will go for Jack of all Trades. I get Magnetism twice. That's not quite what I've been hoping for. Let's drink to regain some energy. Do an Alchemize. Poison, neat. I can work with that. Let's do a Survivor here on this. Um, I've discarded so I can cycle back more that. Let's draw a card. I can I draw it into another cycle on this. And poison would be enough to if I throw enough if I throw this, that's nine poison. And then if I do this, that will kill him before its turn can come around. One turn kill. Gone. Excellent, more health. And the block potion is nice, because I don't really have much block myself. Let's go for another encounter to get more, more relics, more overpowering bullshit. Ah, excellent. Whenever I apply a debuff to them, they uh, don't like it at all. I can't play... Can I play you? No, because I've got Clumsy in my hand, which is unfortunate. So this might be another fight that doesn't go quite how I want it to, but I have so much... Never mind, you just die. Oh, I had a bandage up I could have thrown. Oops. Well, I guess uh, whenever... It's just whenever I enter, so I don't even have to do a sleep thing. But I may as well, because this gives me an upgraded card, basically. Um, let's see, gain it, block draw two. Um, yeah, let's go. What you got for me? Ooh, Bronze Automaton. Can you handle my ridiculously bullshit set of things I do? Let's find out. Okay. First of all, let's drink our po a power potion so we get accuracy. Okay, not quite what I was looking for, but... Alright. Discard Doubt there. We've discarded a card, so we can cycle into more with this. Um, Alchemize, so we get a skill. Play this onto here. And Normality cocks me. Son of a bitch. Well, let's drink this down to gain some strength, because we need more of that, right? But damn, drawing into Normality is the worst fucking thing. Mm. Well, this is a bit annoying. Well, at least be able to thwack one of these minions, I guess. And they'll just got bandage up purely because of the fact that uh, it's not something I'm going to play yet. Look at this bastard holding my cards hostage. 
Ah, you're holding my skewer, man. That's that's just rude. Right. Let's let's just just fuck you, man. You get to deal with this. Oh, I see that normal C hanging around there. Um, can I remove that in any way? No, I can't. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, no, I can. I can use Survivor to remove it. Yes, good. Go away, you piece of shit. You're gone now. So, let's do... Um, a flying me on you to kill that. I've gone back skewer. Uh, alignment plus, excellent. I've discarded so I can get back two here. I've got 11, so I can do 220 damage, he dies. <laughs> oh god. That wasn't ridiculous at all. At least we've weak deal 50%, that's nice. Uh, steroid potion, sure. Reform, gain free intangible at the end of each turn, lose one dexterity. Um, I don't know about that from playable plus it's got from my hand. I have a good amount of discard stuff, so that would be nice. Whenever I just play a card, do you want to? I play so many cards in a turn, but one damage is not much. Unless this is boosted by strength. If that's boosted by strength, but I don't. No, it's not because it's power. Only card attacks are boosted by. I like this more though, because this. I've got a decent amount of discard things, which will let me cycle, which will let me just cycle that for more. You know, power. Because that's going to be intense. Elite drop an additional relic when defeated. Draw two additional cards each turn, so I come back confused. I don't like that. Let's black star it. That gave me another curse, I think. Oh no, non boss chest. Um, is when I get curses. Okay, so what has the most enemies I can fight? Um. I'm liking the look of this kind of path up through here. That should give me a lot of stuff, because this is just a case of I want to fight many things because every time I fight something I get even more broken. And I'm very, very broken. As is uh, demonstrated by the fact that I can just do things like this. Where I nearly just immediately killed him. And would have had I actually not gotten some of the cards I did, but I've completely circumnavigated the, the, the issues that were in my hand there. And now I just get to win. GG. No re. <laughs> What's this here? Oh, merchant. Excellent. You are very useful to me. Many cards to my deck. I gain. I make gain plus two myself instead. The instead part I don't like, and I have no cards in hand during my turn. Draw a card. Um, I very rarely have no cards in hand during my turn. That's the thing. Um, I can choose to give something innate, which is brilliant for me. Um, this already has innate into it. Um, this just gives me the opportunity to flat out murder something as I open the game. So let's go skewer plus. That seems nice. Um, into artifact, yeah, nah. Um, John Kyle's, it's a skill. Let's add in. And in more draw and cycle. And why not have another backstab? Just so I can absolutely obliterate things on the opening round. You all ready to die, bitches? <laughs> um, because we can just go and be like... Alright, uh, first things first, I... Let's draw some. Quick slash there. Do a backstab here. Backstab here. Um, backflip. No, I king. I drew into fucking normality of all things. God damn it. Well, they die. They all die, because as soon as my turn starts, they get killed, but... Oh, 
Okay, Savage Combat, heal 2 health, sure. Uh, yep, let's discard this for more attack potion. And continue cycling along. This is the- this is insane, just... Oh no! I have an unplayable injury. Whatever am I going to do? Could the possible- they're all defending because they know to fear me. It's been so deeply ingrained into them that I will be their downfall, that they- they know. They know to fear. Um... So, let's go for a... Hmm... Let's go and draw some with this. Drop doubt from my hand. Excellent. That doesn't quite do enough damage to kill you, though. Um... If I hit you like that... I can kill you with this here. And then, of course, I draw normality off of it. Lovely. Uh, I should have removed normality when I was at the merchant. That's the one curse which I... It just screws with me so hard. Oh, you you die. Go on. <laughs> like, it's not worth it. Whenever I had a power card in my deck, it's upgraded. Okay. Perfect. Skip that potion. Although, maybe I should Hmm, I don't know. Everything's gonna take a bit of a beating here. Let's go and add a... Yep, cool, good instinct lets me go and just... Obliterate one of them. Got maneuver here. Unfortunately, we just got the clumsy in my hand just bringing down the whole mood here, so I can't masterful stab one of them. Oh, that went. Let's see, okay, cool. Um, out of these cards, let's go for dropping master strategy there. Let's do this to grab, yep, cool, excellent. Um, what can we pull from our deck like this? Um, would be really useful to have. Probably sneaky strike because we can just get back the cost of that on the attack. So let's do that. Then we can backstab. We can throw in a acrobatics in order to discard that for more hip of that. Then we can just go and be like casually predator you for death. Perfect. Had Savage should fade in combat, I get to draw two additional cards. That's gonna be very handy. Um let us rest to draw to add an upgraded card. Um let's add a cycle to our deck. Elite monster, let's see. Oh, <laughs> two enemies, oh no. Mm. What am I going to do against that? Ah, oh, oh no. Um, add two colors to it. Cool, let's use the finesse to do a draw. We've got our clumsy out of the way. Sweet. Um. I'm really scared about drawing into my fucking uh, naughty thing. You know the one I mean. The one that will just stop me from being able to play any more. Fi yeah, that that was the one. I was thinking like, oh, I should probably play out my acrobatics, but no, I should be safe for one draw. No, god damn it. Oh, fuck. What a shitty turn this is. Right, can I just... Let's drink some potions here. Good. Just to get this shit on the roll. On the road, I mean. Alchemize. What do we get? Five dexterity. Cool. Um... 
It's just strength to gain 12 block and bouncing fluff. Yep. <sighs> so the fault that we just had a largely dead hand that round. Cool. Quick slash into the mix here. We'll draw for and just I have so much much energy because of it carrying over. This just results in just insane insanely strong turns. We get two of these. We get the next two curses I obtain, alright. And on the first turn of combat. Um in six block at two shifts to my hand. Yeah, sure. That will help with the fact we've got these shift damage boosters, but nothing actually. Do we have a merchant along the way? No, so we've got to deal with normality. Sucks. Okay, cool. Mind blast right up the gate. Uh, let's do a backflip just to check for what cards we have. Cool. Excellent. Seems fine to me. Check all the trades on this. Flash of Steel. Tend Gear. Good. Um, so if I do that draw, that could just stop me having the rest of my turn with this, so... I'm going to hold off on that. Do this. I'll add two shifts. The shifts do 13 each. Let's... So, I'll do this. Then I'll do a draw here. Uh, Master Strategy, what's this pulling? Okay, nothing much really. <laughs> it's like, I'm already nearly dead! <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is my life? It's like, it's... It's good. Fuck, are you serious? Um... What a shit hand, uh, Whatever. It would be intangible for most of this turn. I take one damage from this, which sucks, but hey, we can just bandage it up. And we'll discard our doubt. We'll go and use acrobatics. Right, nothing we really wanted to discard a whole lot there. Uh, we get sneaky strike to continue with the turn. Acrobatics again. Oh look, normal normality. Get that out of here. Predator, bam, and quick slash for death. Easy boys. And if I discard a card from my turn, gain three block. Excellent. <laughs> I love how small my my top bars gain to just show all of these relics. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, we don't get the curse because of that. Pair. Okay, more max health. It's fine by me. Alright, no normality thing here. Um, let's get our draw of the way here. Just to, uh. Yep, good. Do that. Oh, there was my normality. Good. Let's use this turn to remove that with Survivor. Um, I'll do a. We'll backstab and sneaky strike you for kill. And then skewer you for death. I could have alchemized, I didn't see that. Well, this is turn, so to come up with one dex. Neat. Campfire, um, let's rest to get a new card. If I draw this card, add a copy of it to my hand and deal six damage. Okay, so I get two so I get to do two instances of six damage, which are boosted by strength. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, how how cute they are, thinking that their lifelink will save them in any way, shape, or form. Oh, how adorable. Hmm. And I'll punch that there. Thank god I didn't end up getting the uh, annoying shitty normality. I get to kill that there. 
So Zolt. Oh, I can use a maneuver for next turn. Sweet. This is just this is disgusting. This ra this this daily climb is beautiful. And God, I just you're gone. Don't even have to spend mana to kill you this turn. Rakakum, if I return without block, gain six block. Okay, yeah, I mean that makes up for the fact I've got like no blocking cards in the deck. But I don't really need that, because I just oh everything is this is gross. Oh, I don't like the fact that I've got normality in hand here though. I need to get rid of that. Right, okay. Mind blast that just out of the gate. Damn it. Also saying whenever an enemy dies, I can get I gain one thing and draw a card, so. <sighs> okay, this will this will go and kill that. Cool, so this lets me discard that for this. I can therefore backstab you twice. Is my choice specifically you is no reason. This lets me go and do that. So I can go and... Should I throw a potion for it or should I... Mm. Quick Slash to draw. To bandage up, okay. Why not? Oh wait, no, that wouldn't trigger anything. Never mind, doesn't matter though. I'm not gonna take... I'm not gonna take health damage in this fight of all things. Like, look, just... <laughs> See, it's not happening, guys. <laughs> See, we've got that shit going on. And, uh, yeah, just do this, and, uh, oh no, you die. So you should combat with ten blocks, sure, why not? Add a regen potion into this mix. Uh, let's go over here. God, this is... This is just disgusting. This deck is so, so gross. Um... Sure, let's do... I don't really need to free something right now, so let's add that. So I can alchemize here. I got 20 damage. Okay. That's nice enough. Hmm. It's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, let's go and do backstab twice on you. I'll draw from that. See, my worry here is now I, now I'm in the position to draw the uh, freaking very, very bad thing, which we are all aware about. Yep, that, that normality card. Piece of shit of a thing. Right, okay. Now that that's out of the ish out of the way, let's get to some serious murder. We've got that seven. Let's go for uh for a naturalize here. Gain some block here. And kill it. No problem. Oh now we get more potions. It's the last freaking thing. What do I even have that I can upgrade? Barely anything in the deck can be upgraded because so much of it is just upgraded. Um, rest. What can we pull? We can't play some poison in two weak to all enemies. Cost one less for each card. Discard this turn. Each damage three times, which is a lot actually when you consider the fact that I uh I discard plentifully and I have a lot of strength. Are you ready to get completely obliterated, Dono and Doko, or whatever they're called? Decker and Dono? Ready to just lose your lives to just this disgusting thing that is my deck? Look, 
Okay, I'll do that. Next time I'll gain that. Um, so, these two, I'll do next turn for two extra. And then I'll skewer you for most of your health. I don't care. Circle of power, more like circle of you're gonna die. Okay, cool. Just commence like this. Um, throw that at you, right, right there. Play. There's no reason to actually play enlightenment out like that. Apply too weak to you. Acrobatics. Right. I was worried I'll draw into the annoying thing. But I fortunately didn't. Let's get a potion out of this then. Um, if I do the flying knee, there's the risk I will draw into the thing from that. Discard this from it. Then proceed to. I'm bet I'm gonna draw normality right now. No, thank God. That's perfect. So then we can do enlightenment here. Um. And we'll do eviscerate on you. We'll do survivor to discard doubt. Purity to put clumsy out of the existence. This for that. And there. There we go. Smooth ass turn. We take one damage. <laughs> nah, and there goes my flawless kill. Alright. So let's just. I'm not even sure how I could potentially remove my freaking thing once I draw into it, because I'm going to end up drawing into the freaking uh, that that card this turn. There's no other way around it. It's going to happen. Yeah, there's normality. <laughs> and I don't know any way I could discard that. Let's drink my power. Let's see what we get. Cow drops. Cool, why not? Uh, regen, you know, why not? And let's also drink this. Because why not? Draw two. Uh, draw four. Cool, no normality in sight. Do you know what that means? Time to go really ridiculous with this shit. Discard that. Go. I've just got a card this turn, so this is free. This card's gonna hit you three times. You're dead. Just go on. A lucky day? What's that for? We're in a daily climb. <laughs> I mean, this is a very easy daily climb in terms of how it operates. Like, geez, this is horrendously, disgustingly powerful. Now, this would be by far my most damaging thing if it both takes everything into- Okay, it was my most damaging thing by a good amount. Makes sense, because, gosh, that was broken as hell. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I have 25 plus relics. God damn. Oh, and this unlocks relics. Sweet. Merchant's card remove system always costs 50 gold. Oh, God, that's good. The do do it all. Sweet. <laughs> that's actually really like I like that adding in a way to make curses more of an actually kind of good thing in a way in a weird way and the tiny chest yeah sweet I love it that was awesome I'm assuming I can only do a daily climb once a day oh no it's just a new time to survive once a day Joey Wheeler Joey Wheeler did the best what's my number here 6,138. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But yeah, that's uh, the daily climb for today, which was pretty. Does the daily climb have a name for it? Nah. But uh, I could I could put down the modifiers in it. The silent or the silent all star cursed run vintage. 
Vintage, holy crap, I love that modifier. That's amazing. That is so broken. But yeah, I look forward to seeing uh, next time with that. But uh, the next episode is going to just be a regular one, though. You won't be seeing it for, uh, I guess, 12 days. <laughs> because that's how far behind the uh, main thing of this is going to be from the Daily Challenge runs. But I'll see you tomorrow for another Daily Challenge run. You'll be getting those in real time. Kind of. It's, it's, it's not live, obviously. But, yeah, yeah anyway. Ciao for now!